In the world, there are many dangerous and scary places you should never go. One of these is a highway going from Jalalabad to Kabul. Located in Afghanistan, this road is in Taliban territory. It stretches 65 kilometers. But insurgencies are the least of your worries when driving down this highway. The Jalalabad-Kabul highway is a mix of winding thin lanes. The incredibly narrow roads take you up 600 meters through the Kabul Gorge. There are no guard railings for most of this highway. This means if you make a mistake and drive off the road, then you will fall 600 meters to the ground below. This happens most often with trucks and lorries. Sometimes they're too large for the narrow lanes, and they end up falling off this incredibly high road. Now that we've covered the world's most terrifying road, let's look at the most toxic places in the world. Agbog Bloshi, Ghana. Agbog Bloshi is very dangerous and toxic. That's because it's one of the largest e-waste processing areas in Africa. E-waste is electronic waste. And if you don't know, all electronic waste contains lots of toxic chemicals. If you've ever wondered what happens to your old phone or laptop when you get rid of it, it probably goes here. All electronic waste has toxic chemicals inside it. And when it goes to one of these processing areas, which are normally in Africa, all of the bad things in them spill out into the environment. In Agbog Bloshi, there's toxic chemicals in the ground, water, and atmosphere. Electronics are broken down burned and processed here. The lead levels in Agbog Bloshi are 50 times the US standard. To make things even worse, all of the people who live here do the job of going through all of the e-waste. They do this to try and find valuable metals and computer parts that can be reused. But of course, this leads to bad health consequences for everyone involved. Around 40,000 Ghanaians work in the area. The living conditions are very harsh, and there's a lot of crime. Locals call the place hell on earth. That's because there is constant burning and chemicals going into the air. To make things even sadder, Agbog Bloshi was a former wetland. It used to be amazing beautiful nature, but now it's a big pile of burning electronics. Because the people who work here are paid so little, they normally never make it out. And their life expectancies are very short because they're breathing in toxic fumes all day every day. Nami, Japan before 2011, the population of Nami was 17,000 people, but today only around 1,000 people remain. That's because Nami is located in the Fukushima prefecture. Of course, in 2011, an earthquake and tsunami caused a nuclear disaster in Fukushima. This led to the area around the nuclear power plant being evacuated for a long time. Almost 10 years on, some of the areas are slightly more safe. But Name remains one of the most dangerous and toxic places in Japan. It's deemed a no-go zone. The town located within the 12-mile exclusion zone is totally silent and eerie. Recently, authorities have divided it into three zones based on their level of radioactive contamination. Former residents are allowed to visit Zone A, but just for the day, they can't stay overnight. Zone B can be visited for a few hours at a time. But Zone C remains closed off and is guarded by the military. These zones will stay the same until at least 2025. There are still high levels of nuclear radiation all over the town. And just staying here overnight could cause your life expectancy to go down very fast. That's because the radiation destroys your cells. You could even have other physical injuries, such as radiation burns. Dzerzhinsk, Russia Many decades ago, Dzerzhinsk was a beautiful area of nature in Russia. But between 1930 and 1998, more than 300,000 tons of chemical waste was dumped here. The water is contaminated with dioxins and phenol. The water levels are reportedly 17 million times the safe limit. This has had terrible consequences for the nearby cities. 190 different chemicals have since leaked into the city's groundwater, and this makes the city which is next to the lake one of the most polluted cities in the world. The life expectancy in the city is 42 years for men and 47 years for women. That's because every time they wash in or drink the water, they're consuming chemicals. Scarily, around a quarter of a million people live in this city. Even more scarily, one institute found mustard gas in the town. They also said that sarin gas may be present. Centralia, 
Pennsylvania. In the 1960s, Centralia was a picture-perfect Pennsylvania coal mining town. But in 1962, they had a big fair. This created a lot of trash they had to get rid of. Someone in the town had the idea to dig a big hole by the mine. They would dump all the trash into that and then set it alight. It sounds crazy, but on the 27th of May 1962, that's exactly what they did. But as soon as they did this, the fire quickly spread into the other areas of the coal mine. The coal mine spread all over beneath the town. And within a matter of hours, the inferno had gone out of control. Eventually, the roads got so hot, all of the car's tires melted. The roads and people's floors began to crack. And from the cracks emerged smoke and fire. Sinkholes began opening up and people began falling into them. Smoke and poisonous gases also came out of these holes and many residents began falling very ill. It sounds like something from a horror movie, but this really happened to a Pennsylvanian town. By 1990, the town's population had gone down from 1,000 to around 60 people, and today only a few homes remain. All of these houses are very unstable and look like they could fall down at any minute, and smoke and toxic gases still come out of the cracks in the ground. Believe it or not, this creepy abandoned town was the inspiration for the video game Silent Hill. In 2021, only a few very stubborn residents refused to move out, and experts believe the fire could continue to burn for another 100 years at least. La Oroya, Peru This is a mining town located in the Peruvian Andes. Because of the mining, there is lots of lead, arsenic, and cadmium in the soil. This is spread throughout the entire town, and this is because of an American-owned smelter which has been polluting the city since 1922. The smelter is owned by New York billionaire Ira Rennert, who lives here. In the town, 99% of the children have blood lead levels which exceed the acceptable limits. Sadly, what was once a very nice-looking mountainous town is now poisoned. One young girl named Isabel has breathed toxic air all her life. She's also had heavy metals in her blood for her entire life too. Chernobyl, Ukraine Chernobyl is one of the most famous toxic places on Earth. In 1986, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant melted down. This caused an explosion and a massive nuclear incident. Radioactive dust including uranium, plutonium and other metals continue to plague the area. This includes the town of Pripyat too. That's because they both fall into the 19 mile exclusion zone around the nuclear plant. There was once 14,000 residents, but within a few hours one day they all had to leave, otherwise they could have passed away. When the nuclear meltdown happened, 50 people lost their lives, and it's believed around 4,000 may eventually pass on because of the radiation exposure. Linfen, China Linfen sits at the heart of China's coal bend. This is the main place of industry in China. Smog, soot, and pollutants are very common. And at almost every hour of the day, the air is totally black. There are many cases of people having bronchitis, pneumonia, and lung issues. There's also arsenic found in the water here. The children of the area have high rates of lead poisoning because of the air pollution. Gilman, Colorado Gilman was once a mining town. They mined silver, zinc, and lead for many years. But eventually, they found dangerous levels of contaminants in the soil and water here. That's when the town was abandoned and all of the residents left. It has dangerous levels of arsenic, copper, lead, and zinc. Almost no one is still here except for a few very stubborn residents. Those places were toxic, but not that secret. But here are some places on Earth which are dangerous for a different reason. That reason is the US government don't want you to know they exist. Mickelson Safeguard Complex The Mickelson Safeguard Complex can be found in North Dakota. It was built during the Cold War in 1975. It was built to deter missiles from the Soviet Union. It could also launch and control 30 long-range anti-ballistic missiles, and 70 short-range missiles. But here's the weird part. The site cost $6 billion to make. It was opened on October 1st, 1975. 
but mysteriously closed on October 2nd, 1975. That's right, it was only operational for one single day. Many find it unlikely that the government would spend $6 billion on this site only to close it in less than 24 hours. The building also looks very eerie and mysterious. This has led to many theories about what the true purpose of the Mickelson Safeguard Complex really is. Some believe it's a headquarters for a secret group like the Illuminati. That's because the building kind of resembles the all-seeing eye, which is the Illuminati's logo. Today, the base is still not operational according to the US military but it remains under 24-hour protection and surveillance. It's in the middle of nowhere, but even if you did make it out there, the army patrols the area. There's also a large barbed wire fence, so no one is getting anywhere near this base. What do you think the true purpose of the Mickelson Safeguard Complex really is? Do you think it was a front to build a $7 billion base for the world's elite? Or do you think there's a more normal explanation? 33 Thomas Street New York is famous for their large skyscrapers, but if you ever go to Lower Manhattan in New York, you'll find something very strange. There is one gigantic skyscraper with zero windows, and the reason this building has no windows is a top government secret. The only reason we know is thanks to NSA leaks. The building is 29 stories, but there's not one single window. Until recently, the public knew almost nothing about this building. What we did know was it was built in 1974 by AT&T, and for many years it served as an AT&T phone switchboard hub. But what goes on in the building today is mass surveillance. That's right, this building is an NSA surveillance hub. This building intercepts your phone calls, text messages, internet data, and fax messages. In 2013, NSA contractor Edward Snowden leaked a lot of documents from the NSA. In those documents, there were lots of mentions of a surveillance site known as Titan Point, but its location was so secret even Edward Snowden did not know it. But we now know that Titan Point is actually 33 Thomas Street. We know this because the document said that Titan Point is in New York. They also said it was supervised by Lithium, which is the NSA's code word for AT&T. Using Google Earth, you can even see the NSA satellites on the roof of this building. Also, the FBI's New York office is only one block away. So that's why this mysterious New York skyscraper has zero windows. Peter's Mountain It's unlikely, but close your eyes and picture this for a second. Imagine the USA and China have gone to nuclear war. A nuke has been sent to China and one has been sent to the USA. Washington is destroyed and the White House is no longer safe. You may be wondering, where will the president and the top US spies hide out? For a long time, we did not know, until 2015. That was when Peter's Mountain was discovered. This is the secret mountain base spies and the president will hide out in if Washington is destroyed. On the surface, the land seems completely empty. But in 2007, it was purchased for $61 million. There is a large AT&T logo which acts as a helipad, but nothing in the federal budget suggests they bought this place. This mountain was purchased as part of the CIA's black budget. This is money that they do not declare to the taxpayers. Inside Peter's Mountain is a massive nuclear bunker. If you try and drive anywhere near the mountain, it will say road closed. And if you go past those road closed signs, the military will stop you. The base is highly protected, and it's where the president, vice president, and top spies will hide out if Washington is ever destroyed. Mercury City in the USA, there's something known as closed cities. It's like a normal city with people working and living there. The only difference is it's closed off from the rest of society. You may wonder why create a closed city? Well, the reason why is to prevent military secrets being leaked out. One of the only known closed cities in the USA right now is Mercury, Nevada. In 2019, one man was shot at by police after entering this closed city. It's believed around 500 people live in Mercury and they're mostly researchers and their families. It's believed they're researching advanced weaponry. This includes things like unmanned drones, also military planes, and also things like nuclear missiles and advanced nukes. It is forbidden to enter Mercury, Nevada without government clearance. Dulcie Base 
Dulce is a small town located in New Mexico, USA. But this tiny, seemingly normal town hides many strange secrets. Dulce is home to Dulce Base, which is a gigantic underground facility. This is where many military experiments are carried out, and advanced biological technologies are developed. It's said there are seven layers to the base. The first base has security personnel and communication devices. The second is for housing. The third level has laboratories. The fourth level has mind control experiments. The fifth level houses alien life forms. The sixth level has genetic experiments. And level number seven has cryogenic storage. One former US government engineer named Philip Snyder took part in building the base. But when he started talking publicly about the base, he mysteriously passed away. Area six. Everyone knows about Area 51. But close to Area 51 is a very little known and even more secret base, Area 6. It's only 12 miles away from Area 51. It's a lot smaller with a few buildings and one airstrip. But no one knows what Area 6 is actually for. It's surprising just how many secret buildings, cities, and bases there are in the USA. It really makes you want to explore some of these places. But almost all of them are strictly off limits. If you try and go to most of these places, you will be arrested, shot at, or worse. Now, moving on from the USA, let's go back to the rest of the world. In the world, there are many holes. Some are natural and some are man-made. But here are the most mysterious holes in the world. Siberian Holes Siberia has a notoriously tough climate. Every winter there is immense snow and ice. But one summer in Siberia after the ice melted, people found something strange. After the permafrost melted, there were two gigantic holes. No one is sure exactly what caused these. Some theorize it could have been a gigantic meteor. This could have broken into two parts and then hit the ground. Others say a UFO landing could have caused these holes. Some also believe the frost may have caused an explosion. Permafrost contains lots of gas and carbon. Perhaps it fell inwards and caused a large explosion. But phenomena like this has not been seen in many other frozen regions in the world. So that's why researchers and scientists are still confused. What do you think could have caused these two gigantic holes in Siberia? Lake Berryessa Sinkhole Lake Berryessa is a gigantic lake in California. It's one of the world's largest man-made water deposits. But you'd better not swim or go boating anywhere near this lake. That's because in it is a gigantic sinkhole. This is known as the Lake Berryessa sinkhole. But what exactly is this sinkhole? Well, it was made as kind of like a plug in a sink. This is to make sure the lake does not overflow over the dam. This dam provides power using water energy, and it also provides many people with water. The hole's diameter is 72 feet. When this hole was actually built, it looked pretty normal and was above ground. They never expected that the water would rise above the hole. But over the years, the climate has changed, causing much more rainfall. This means the sinkhole is now needed all the time, otherwise the dam would overflow. It consumes nearly 50,000 cubic meters of water per second. One day, a man made the mistake of swimming near the sinkhole. He was dragged into it and his body was found downstream three hours later. Also in 2019, a duck was sucked into the sinkhole. But unlike the unlucky swimmer, this bird actually survived. Mars Hole It's not only Earth that has scary and mysterious holes. In fact, one of the most mysterious planets in our universe, Mars, has an unknown hole. There have been many theories as to what this could be. Some say life forms could be living under the surface of Mars while others say it could be a lava tube skylight. These are normally found on the moon, but maybe they're on Mars too. They're basically large holes filled with lava. Experts believe the hole was made by a collapse rather than a direct impact. So far, it's only been looked at by telescopes. That's because no Mars rovers have been deployed in the area. Amazingly, this hole was only discovered in 2011, but nearly a decade later, it's still a mystery. Guatemala Sinkhole 
Sinkholes are a terrifying but thankfully rare phenomena. The scary thing is, sinkholes can happen no matter where you live. Sometimes human activity, for example building basements, can make sinkholes even more likely. Also, some believe that fracking may cause an increase in sinkholes. In 2010, a massive sinkhole opened up in Guatemala City. The hole was 65 feet across and 300 feet deep and it swallowed a massive three-story factory. The reason why is because lots of the ground of Guatemala City is made of volcanic debris. This can be eroded very easily. Investigators also found leaks from sewer pipes helped to make the sinkhole. But what was incredibly lucky is no one was swallowed by this sinkhole. If they were, then they would have passed away instantly. They would have fallen in and been crushed by the ground and debris. But the sinkhole formed at a time when no one was in the factory which was swallowed up. Antarctica Hole Antarctica is one of the least explored places in the world, and this of course makes it very mysterious. In 2018, researchers looking at satellite images of Antarctica found something amazing. There was a massive gaping hole in the middle of Antarctica's sea ice. The hole spanned thousands of square miles. The phenomenon is known as a pollinia, but sea ice researchers don't know why or how it formed. To put into perspective how big it is, it's more than twice the area of Rhode Island. Right now, we're not sure how deep this hole goes down. Some believe this could be a UFO mystery. After all, many believe that in the 1940s, Germany kept alien technology in Antarctica. But right now, the jury is still out on Antarctica's mysterious hole. Kola Super Deep Borehole Have you ever wondered what the deepest hole in the world is? Well, it can be found in the Pechengeski district of Russia. The borehole was a scientific drilling project of the Soviet Union. The goal was simply to drill as deep as possible and not to stop. They found some pretty amazing things, for example, a large quantity of hydrogen gas. But in 1995, when the Soviet Union ended, this project was terminated. Today, the borehole is welded shut. But many say many mysteries are still waiting down there to be unlocked. Door to Hell in Turkmenistan is a gigantic hole full of fire and gas. It used to be a natural gas field, but that gas was drifting down to nearby towns. That's why scientists set fire to it to stop the spread of methane gas. But this did not work and instead caused a massive explosion. This then caused a hole known as the door to hell. The Great Blue Hole the Great Blue Hole is a massive sinkhole off the coast of Belize. It used to be a cave, but over the years as sea levels have risen, it's been flooded. It's now a popular place for scuba divers to go down to. But if you do plan on doing this, then beware. There have been many incidents and even people who have lost their lives diving down the Great Blue Hole. It has one of the worst reputations for any dive site in the world. In recent years, over 200 people have passed on, but this is a mystery in and of itself. The reasons why it's so dangerous are still unknown. It's thought maybe people dive too deep into the cave system and get lost. Others say an unknown sea creature may live in this hole and eat divers. Mamatine Prison Hole Mamatine Prison was a prison used in ancient Rome. Prisoners were put down a tiny hole. You can still visit this today, but beware, it's said to be haunted. This is because many prisoners passed on down this hole. It's said that if you go down here and be quiet, you can still hear their screams. It's pretty amazing that something as simple as a hole could have a very scary and mysterious story behind it. Do you know of any mysterious holes near you? Or a hole in the woods some kids found something scary in? Summer is coming up. And hopefully at some point this summer you will take a trip to the beach. But be sure to avoid any of these beaches as they are the most dangerous in the world. Fish Hoak, South Africa South Africa is known as a pretty dangerous country in many ways. But you'd think that you'd be pretty safe by the beach, right? Well no, this beach looks pretty nice on the surface. But one thing you'll realize is the lack of people on the sand, and even less people in the sea. That's because Fish Hoak is one of the most shark infested waters in the world. The waters are home to hundreds of great white shark. This is a carnivorous shark with a particular taste for humans. Also because South Africa is so hot, this does not help the sharks at all. 
The high temperatures actually irritate the sharks and make them more likely to bite humans. Since the 60s, there have been many underwater nets set up on the beach. This is to try and contain the sharks and make sure they can't get too near to the people swimming. But sometimes the sharks bite through the nets, and they don't cover the entire beach, meaning the sharks sometimes get through. In 2010 alone, there were more than 21 people bitten by sharks. Locals totally avoid this beach, and it's also advised that tourists don't go in the water further than their knees. Otherwise, they may well lose parts of their body. Copacabana Beach, Brazil Brazil is yet another country which is known for its amazing beaches but high crime rates. You may think that the beach would be a place to escape from this, but really it's the exact opposite. Because of all of the tourists here, this is a prime place for criminals. If you step foot on this beach, you have a pretty good chance of being robbed. Sometimes, tourists are even injured by the criminals on the beach. In 2015, police even banned local youths from going onto the beach. That's because they believed that Rio de Janeiro's younger population was stealing from tourists. Locals advise tourists not to bring their valuables onto the beach. This includes phones, wallets, passports, and cameras. Sometimes robbers even rip necklaces off people's necks while they're wearing them. Another trick they use is to start a fake brawl with one another. Beachgoers will then stand up and walk away or towards the action to see what's going on. But when doing this, they'll leave their valuables behind for the people to come and steal. So keep a close eye on your belongings if you go to this beach. Fraser Island, Australia Fraser Island is the largest sandy island in the world. It's visited by only the most adventurous tourists. And that's because it's known for its wildlife, which can be pretty dangerous. Unlike on many beaches, the danger is not necessarily in the water. The island is home to many land animals, which sometimes attack and take out tourists. There are wild dingoes on the island, which sometimes disturb tourists on the beach. These dingoes sometimes bite, scratch, and even take people's lives. If you go here, make sure to avoid these animals. Don't let your children go anywhere near them. Never feed them and lock up all of your food, rubbish, and ice boxes. Scarily, these animals often operate in packs and sometimes gang up on tourists. The island is also home to giant pythons. This means you could be bitten or squashed by a snake if you go onto this island. Funnel web spiders also live on the beach. These funnel web spider bites have been responsible for nearly 13 people passing on. And they can also take out animals, such as dogs, so don't bring your pet to this beach. Also, if you do get injured, don't count on being rescued. There aren't many paved roads on the island. This means it takes paramedics a long time to get to the beach. But make no mistake, the water is as dangerous as the land on this beach. There are jellyfish, which are known to take humans' lives. There are also sharks, which sometimes bite beach goers. And the sea has rough conditions and rip currents. This means you could well be pulled under the sea if you're not a very strong swimmer. Maho Beach, St. Martin St. Martin is a beautiful island in the Caribbean. It has many amazing beaches, but its most dangerous is Maho Beach. This is a beach right next to St. Martin's only airport. And on the beach, airplanes fly right over your head. This makes it a hot spot for people to go to, simply because it's so weird. How often do you see a gigantic jumbo jet right over your head? The planes get so close to the beach that people are sometimes knocked over. The airport's runway is very short because the island's small, so that's why airplanes go right over the beachgoers' heads. The government warns tourists not to go to this place when there's planes. But of course, people ignore this as they want to see the planes up close. There are many warning signs, but this simply made the place even more interesting and alluring to tourists. These warnings and signs aren't all for show. In 2017, a New Zealand woman was watching a jet fly right over her head. But that's when its engine blasted and she went flying across the beach. Sadly, she fell on her head and never recovered. The planes on this beach are an amazing sight to see, but maybe from a distance, not up close. Skeleton Coast, Namibia 
The Skeleton Coast is one of the most extreme places on the planet. The reason for its name is because of all of these skeletons you'll find on this beach. There are skeletons of living things, for example whales, and also skeletons of old boats and shipwrecks too. Sadly, there are even human skeletons on this beach. The coastline is very rocky, and there are also dangerously big waves and a thick fog. These harsh conditions have caused many to pass away on this beach. Over 1,000 ships have gone missing and then were shipwrecked on this coast. The locals call Skeleton Coast the land God made in anger. There is no drinkable water anywhere near this beach, and the heat is absolutely scorching. This means many who are shipwrecked succumb to dehydration. The Skeleton Coast is also one of the most isolated places in the world. This means if you do run into trouble on this beach, then no Coast Guard will come and help you. Chow Patty Beach, India Chowpatty Beach is located on the Arabian Sea. Naturally, the beach is fairly safe, but it's the humans that go to the beach which make it dangerous. Because of the massive population that go here, they've destroyed the beach with trash and waste. Many Mumbai festivals and events are held on Chowpatty Beach. All of these thousands of people leave a lot of trash and this is never picked up. This means that this is one of the most polluted beaches in the world. Some describe it as landfill with water next to it rather than a beach. And there's even been reports of human waste in the sea. This is very dangerous as you can get ill and infections from going anywhere near the water. There's also pollution on the beach which causes toxic fumes which can be very dangerous for your health. If you breathe in this polluted air too much, this could cause problems for your lungs and heart. Queensland and the Tiwi Islands, Australia. Australia is known for its dangerous wildlife. And nothing is a better example of this than the Queensland and Tiwi Islands beaches. Many tourists who go here don't realize that it's infested with box jellyfish. These creature stings are equipped with one of the most powerful poisons in the world. The stinging cells of these creatures can cause severe burns. And if you're stung by one, you may pass away within a few minutes. They blend into the waves, making them very hard to notice, which adds to the danger. North Sentinel Island The beach surrounding this island is off limits. That's because the North Sentinelese tribe live here. The island is technically territory owned by India, but the Indian government forbid any Indians from going onto this island. They don't want to spread any diseases and wipe out this tribe. Also, the tribe barrage anyone who comes anywhere near the island with arrows. Last year, two fishermen got way too close to the island. They ended up being shot by arrows and never made it back. Also, two years ago, a missionary went to the island on a boat. He was trying to convert the island's people to God, but he ended up being taken out by their arrows. When a rescue helicopter came to try and retrieve his body, this was also fired at with arrows. So not only is this beach a prohibited place, but also the residents won't let you come anywhere near. New Smyrna Beach, Florida this is one of the most dangerous beaches in the USA and the world. The reason why is because it's one of the biggest shark hotspots on Earth. So far, over 240 people have been injured by sharks on this beach. And sadly, many people did not make it out alive. One day in September of 2016, three people were injured by sharks within three hours. Officials advise you not to go into the water deeper than your knees. But many surfers do, and sometimes they pay the price. In 2017, Melanie Lawson was paddling on the beach. That was when she was knocked over and bitten on the leg by a shark. So if you're in the USA, it's probably best to avoid this beach. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below which place in this video you would want to visit the most and least. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. There are some more videos you may like on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.